Welcome back, folks. Seth here at Plastic Galaxy Toy Store. Back on a Monday. Yes, Monday. Do not adjust your dials. It is Monday because yesterday uh, just ran a little time. Short on time, so I was like, man, I want to rush it. And uh, hey, you know what? That's the beauty of... I won't say being your own boss, but the beauty of doing what kind of what you want to do is you get to make your own time. It's obviously, it's obviously you guys got to show up, so I appreciate that. But every once in a while, you know what? It is what it is. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back to another live sale. We have a Star Wars live sale for tonight. Everything, minus a couple items, are all Star Wars. We usually are pretty much everything Star Wars, with the exception of some cool stuff now and then. And today we got some cool stuff. We got some display stuff. We've got some poster stuff. We've got some. Uh, uh, some cool stuff. Some uh, some some more display stuff. There's one that we're also looking for. Some ex oh, so a couple exclusive items from conventions, uh, like uh, actual exclusives, not like fan stuff, but real, you know, a uh, Comic Con type exclusive thing, celebration exclusive, I should say. And what else do we have? A few things, about 20 items, and that's it. We got some large items tonight, so some big stuff. So keep that in mind uh, on this stuff. So here's how it works. For those that don't know, you know, if you're on Facebook, or YouTube. We have a, 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 cl a, cl a chat client that allows us to see both comments, so we're able to see both. So you may not see somebody on YouTube that says something on Facebook because you're obviously not on both. Uh, so somebody's like, well, I didn't see that. Don't worry about it. We saw it. All right? <laughs> like, I didn't see it. Then they go look at it on YouTube. We're like, yeah. Yeah, they were there. So it would be great if everybody went to one to the YouTube side because it would just be you know a better situation in my opinion. But you're welcome to use Facebook. We did this. Um, costs, costs a little bit of money a month, but we want to make want to make sure you guys understand that you can have whatever outlet you like. And I want to go straight on YouTube, and everybody be like, "Well, I don't like YouTube on Facebook." Well, you know, okay. Well now you have both options. So there you have it. Because inevitably, somebody would 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 make a, would make a um, I say complaint, a comment about it, right? It is what it is. Hope you guys are doing well. Let me check on one thing real fast. Make sure you guys are. It was on board. Look at a couple comments here. What's up, Scotty Vaughn, Justin Davis, Scott Moldoff, Alan G, Lyle Jones, Donald Barber. What's up, Colby? All the regulars. That's cool stuff. Love it, love it, love it. We got people on Facebook. Most, a lot of people on YouTube. I'm telling you, get, you need to get over on YouTube. <laughs> it's just better. Resolution's better. The uh, um, frame rate's better. And also, the lag is way better. So there you have it. It's a, it's, what's up, Mr. Stanton? He's over there on YouTube. Al Anthony W. is over on YouTube as well. Shane Romay, I haven't heard that name in a while. Howdy from San Francisco. says, Paul Dorman. What's up, guys? I see all your messages. I appreciate it. You know, I, was, I mentioned this the other day when I did a little, every once in a while, I do like a weekly kind of powwow. Just, you know, whatever, kind of shoot the proverbial breeze. And I, I mean, everybody's just the coolest. We have the coolest guys out there. Nobody gets gets their panties in a bunch usually. So it's a good, appreciate keep, keep it, keeping it like that. Makes my job easier because... Last thing I want to do is deal with somebody who's pissed off. Because, <laughs> you know what? That pisses me off. And you want to see me pissed off. Man, whatever. It's not that bad. Trust me. Anyways, let's get things started now. We've got some Star Wars stuff. Like I said, we've got a little bit of everything. Let's get things started off with, uh, we've got some lots. We have some lots. We, and I've got a lot of these, too. I've had a lot for a long time. That's a lot of lots, isn't it? But um, some L-O-T-S of... Some Power of the Force 2 stuff, and I always like to make them kind of theme-related. That way they make sense, right? So here we go with PG at number 15 coming out of the gate first tonight. PG-15, this is a Power of the Force 2 lot. We've also got some other stuff coming your way, so stand by. PJ-15, we have the Rebel Fleet Trooper. All these cards are in pretty decent shape, by the way. No major issues. I mean, they may have a little thing here or there. Uh, this is Luke Skywalker in ceremonial outfit. Once again, let's go over the claims. Claim, excuse me, PG number space price, right? Pretty simple. PG number space price. That's it. That's what you locked in. And then, of course, shipping is flat $5.99. Anything above that be calculated by weight, distance, length, girth, etc. Blah, blah, blah. You guys know the rules. Up next, Leia. White Leia. And that's just because she's wearing white. Not because, and she happens to be white too. <laughs> I don't know why I have to disclose that. Uh, anyway, uh, Bespin Luke Skywalker, another Bespin figure for you tonight. And then, of course, one more Luke. I pulled this one out too. Uh, Luke Skywalker with blaster and electro binoculars. I never knew that's what they were called, but there they are. So, all in decent shape. This is a lot of five. So, this is PG at number 15, taking the lot of five right there for $24 for all five. Less than five bucks a piece, right? Can't beat that. Like I said, I was. A kin these are usually ten dollars a piece or somewhere, but there you have it. PG fifteen for twenty four bucks for the lot of five. Power of the Force two items, and I see Lyle Jones is the is who I see on my end, and I'm looking at the claims tonight. So 
there we have it. Uh, wow, it's PG-15. Give me a second. Uh, Lyle Jones. And then we're going to put this over here. Whoops, sorry. Right. Okay, we've got... We have got, folks, uh, some more of those coming up, some, var some variations in the lots. But um, here, did you need this? Okay, I don't know if you're on the tag or you meant on the other one. Perfect. There we go. All right. That's how we've got some more of those, so stand by. I'd like to throw a few of those out there. I've got a bunch of it. It's just I don't want to make a whole sale of Power of the Force 2. Nothing like Power of the Force 2. You can switch it up a little bit. Okay, up next, we have an exclusive piece. This is PG-19. This is from Star Tours. And you know what Star Tours was? Obviously, Disney, uh, a, a Disney event, or a Disney used to be an actual uh, place you went, like a theme park, but they canceled that years ago, and now they're doing Star Wars World or whatever, land, universe, they'll probably make a... Uh, a Star Wars, you know, village one of these days or something because it's just, oh, we, that's a good idea. Anyway, this is Star Wars. This is uh, Star Tours G35 LE, right? Really cool, man. The fate of the Star Wars universe in your hands. And it talks, it speaks in French. Whenever your plans call for intergalactic transport, that's who you call. G35 LE. So a Star, a Star Tours exclusive. It has a Disney age four and up you know, kind of deal, which is cool. Um, so there you have it. These are usually about 50 bucks. Oh, I meant to mention, cards in overall good shape. There's a, little, there's a little vein right there on the top. It's not like a crease. It's just a little... But I'm gonna discount it just because why not? Because I'm gonna get this stuff. I'm marking this stuff to move. PG 15 or PG 19 for 29 bucks for the Star Tours piece. This is awesome. Von Bosch. Uh, so it, example would be PG 19 space 29. PG 19 space 29 is how you get, you get yourself locked in with this piece and a cool piece. This is a Star Tours exclusive, and so hey, an interesting one. Scott, I see. I, no, actually, pardon me. I have on there on my end. Alan G. That's who I see first on mine. Sorry about that. I just, it scrolls this way. So sorry about that. I didn't mean to uh, mess it up because I was looking. So I got Alan G for that. And that will go out with your stuff tomorrow, sir. Um, anyway, cool piece right there, by the way. Uh, okay, up next, what do we have? Let's do this next piece. Uh, okay, yeah, this is cool. Let's do this. We have some more cool stuff. And this is interesting because I think I have a whole line of this multiple times. I just didn't know it because it was just... So much stuff. This is PG number 10. And expanding universe stuff is extremely popular. And it just seems to be people going after it. Likely because it's something different, right? And that different always means, you know, just desirability. Luke Skywalker from Dark Empire Comics is expanding universe. Pretty cool piece. Like I said, don't mind the uh, green screen. Let me fix that for us. Actually, it's bothering me. Uh, color key. Let's do Put that out a little more. Is that better? Nope. There we go. Maybe, maybe that'll be just a tad touch better. There we go. Not so much on it. Anyway, you can probably see it's got green, and that the reason is because it's a green screen, but there's nothing wrong with the card. PG-10, uh, we're all good shape. No, no major issues. Got the hard card stock. 14 bucks for the Expanded Universe Luke, and it's king on... <laughs> now it's doing that. Let me fix that real fast. All right. PG-10 for $14. Let's see if I got that a little better that time. And there it is. PG-10 for 14 bucks. Awesome, awesome piece right there for us. This is Luke Skywalker from the Expanded Universe line. He's got his uh, lightsaber and blaster. And also, this pla this package becomes a, a 3D screen as well. Let me check my, my comments here. PG-10, Ruben Martinez. Good to hear your name called, Ruben. There you are. See, Va Vaughn, by the way, that is correct. You just were, were a little bit late uh, on the, on the it's whoever we see first. So there you go. Got Ruben locked in. Good to hear your name called, Ruben, down there in San Antonio. It's hard to remember people's names. You know, Scotty, uh, uh, Scott Moldoff's up in Kansas. Alan G's up there in South Dakota. Uh, I know all you guys. Dave Fanta, I forgot where you're from. <laughs> Just kidding. I didn't forget. Uh, I, I would know if I saw your name again. Uh, okay. Speaking of, let's do another lot of, of Power of the Force 2 stuff. We'll get into some other stuff in a second. I'm just kind of just going through, kind of keeping it nice and, nice and uh, calm. PG-16, this is the Imperial lot of um, Star Power of the Force 2 items. We had the, of course... Everybody's favorite, the ERG. We have also got uh, Snowtrooper. Can't go wrong with Snowtrooper. With, uh, we also have, oh, this is nice, Vader. And that happens to be the uh, interrogation of Princess Leia Vader because they have a scene for every character. This is Emperor Palpatine or the Emperor, just I like to call him, with his Force Lightning. Nice clear bubble Emperor too. <laughs> Go find one of those. Anyway, uh, the power of the force. This is also uh, last one here is Forlom. 
right? So you get all five of these bad boys. PG-16 for 24 bucks for the whole lot. Once again, to get this get this locked in, PG-16 space 20, PG-16 space 24 is the uh, lot. Just how to get that locked in if you would like the Imperial lot, which you can't go wrong. With it. And the first person I saw, Justin Davis. There you go, Justin. I want to mark this down. Say Justin Davis. There you go. And I've got your other stuff that will get this combined for you, Justin, uh, for your stuff out t um, tomorrow. Okay. Up next, let's switch gears a little bit. Let's, let's, let's move on to a couple bigger items. Bigger meaning large. Um, actually, let's do this first. Let's get this out of the way. PG number 13. This is a uh, Star Wars mini action figures case. Graphics are in good shape up front. Overall, the uh, uh, the vinyl's in good shape too. No uh, horrible rips or tears. No rips or tears I can notice of anywhere. I'm looking at it right now. The cases are in good shape. And see, somebody already put the decals on there for you, so you can just hammer away and put your figures in there. But like I said, it's actually been played with, if you want to call it played with, but it's still in good shape. So there you have it. Both the cases are in there. And there is, and the latches, the latches, good, good mechanism there. PG thirteen for nineteen bucks. You know what? If you consider what one would cost, cost with the inserts and really, really clean, you know this is a steal. PG thirteen for nineteen dollars for the Star Wars mini action figure case. It has the two cases, like I said, in there, and it has the stickers. But uh, for what it is, nice strong graphics here. And I've got uh, Mr. Santon, uh, who I see that, and I forgot who his real name is. <laughs> uh, yeah, there it is, Horton. Yeah, I got you. Mr. Sant. There's that. Write that down for me. Perfect. Chris Horton. Yeah, and she just told me, which is funny. Okay, up next. Let's uh, do, 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 do. A lot of cool stuff. And some big, let's get some bigger stuff. I got some. This is a cool item. Still factory sealed. I forget. I forgot all about this one. There's a bunch of stuff I just forgot I had. It's just in storage, if you will. So this is a Darth Vader electric talking bank. Electric talking bank. And you say, how the hell does that work? I don't know. You figure it out. It's, <laughs> it's unopened, so I don't know. I guess it talks when you put money in it, that kind of a thing. It's a cool deal. It's one of those that, you know, you could, you could be a good candidate to open, right, because they're not crazy expensive, and be kind of a, a thing to have, you know, just, you know, for your kids. Help, help them save some money so, so they can buy you some stuff when you get older. Factory, <laughs> factory seal piece here. Uh, try me, press logo to start. Nothing's working. Probably just the battery life of these things is you know very minimal to begin with. Anyway, it's factory sealed all the way around. And there we go. PG twenty six for twenty. Uh, PG six for twenty four bucks. I'm told this stuff is just being cut loose. Get out of here. It's just taking up space. So discounting a lot of this stuff to get out. The box is still in good shape. Like I said, if it was me, I'd open it. But there you have PG six for twenty four dollars. We see you, Paul Dorman. There it is. Electric talking bank. <laughs> right? I don't know. I would, I said, I would open this up and actually use it for what it is. So it's a big piece, actually fairly large piece. Let's see how big it is. Just out of curiosity, this is thirteen by nine by ten. Thirteen by nine by ten is this the box size. You can see the Vader inside there, old TRU tagger up here. There you go. I think these sell for like thirty-five bucks, forty bucks when they're, you know. But here you go. Take it if you want it. PG six for twenty-four dollars. A talking bank, factory sealed all the way around. You can see it. And uh, like I said, a good candidate to actually open. A lot of people don't like to open toys, and I don't get that, but I mean, this is one I'd open in a heartbeat. Anyways, there it is. Boom. All right. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on up. Over here, we have got this, and this is going to go really fast. I'm going to discount it. This is another poster. You know, you guys know we like posters. If I get doubles, or if I get ones that are just don't fit my kind of focus of having posters, I get a bunch of poster lots in. Uh, I just don't, some of you guys. And some of them, I got another one coming in in a couple of days. Probably another vintage poster. But this is not vintage. This is a cool one. This is the advanced poster for Rogue One. And this is sweet. It's double-sided as issued. It's rolled as well. So there you have it. A rebellion, a rebellion built on hope. And, of course, the bottom, I believe, is just black. No, it has a December logo because that's when the movie came out obviously in December I love the Star Wars movies come out in December because it's just cool it's Christmas time everybody gets hyped up about them it's fun anyway this one double sided like it should be at, on the new posters that's how it does because the uh, they're made for the uh, movie movie uh, frames to illuminate to backlit you, which you can do that they're not crazy expensive PG4 steal of a deal $69 
for the advanced poster for Rogue One. I mean, I keep saying this about Rogue One. It's like the coolest movie, in my opinion, of all of them. And by the way, it uh, didn't do that well because they didn't market it very well, in my humble opinion. PG-4 for 69. This will be shipped in a poster tube. I want to say roller, but it's not a roller. A roller would be something you actually roll, but it does roll. PG-4 for $69. This is a cool piece right here. Uh, rebel a Rebellion Built on Hope. The advanced poster for Rogue One, which you got to love that movie. Can't go wrong there. It's, it's outside the Mandalorian. That's where it's at, in, you know, for me. Okay, up next, what do we have next? Oh, another big piece. Oh, here's a big piece. All right, here we go. All right. This, my friends, is something really, really cool. And if you know about display stuff, uh, thank you, Brian, for the affirmation. Uh, this is, by the way, um, store displays. We talk about store displays. I'm, you know, everybody, some people may or may not know. Someone give a little bit of background. You know, store displays. The, the new store displays that you find, especially Lego stuff. I've got a couple of Lego displays I want to throw up here tonight. And there's a Star Wars Lego displays, which even adds, you know, kind of a little a premium there, if you will. Even just Lego displays by themselves are highly sought after. And the reason Lego displays are highly sought after is they're supposed to be thrown away. They say on the on on the uh, the actual displays to discard or for this very reason, I don't know. I forgot how I got. It. I bought it from somebody. Obviously, I didn't buy it from Target or whatever or Toys R Us because, but they got it probably from a store, a salesman. So they're not supposed to be had to the general public. They're just not supposed to be. Uh, they're they're supposed to be discarded. So that having said that, this is a really cool piece. Up next, this is PG number fourteen, and this is a Attack of the Clones uh, Lego display. Now here's the cool thing about this piece. It does work. It takes a astronomical amount of batteries in all three of these compartments. Excuse me, that's dusty. <coughs> Tell you it's in storage. Best stuff's been in storage. Whew. There it is. This is. And <laughs> what's funny is my keyboard just went z z z z like I sneezed. Anyway, so this is super cool. Uh, it takes an, an awful lot of batteries. I don't think there's any batteries in there. Maybe. Um, anyway, they do. It does work. This is something cool. All the Lego stuff is ridiculously. People go after them like crazy, and just go look online on eBay and look how much people are giving for these things. It's, it's just dumb. But hey, I'm not even getting close to that range. And if somebody wants this, it'd be a little expensive to ship. But like I said, not a big deal. Um, actually, you know what? PG 14, 199. And what I will do on this one is I'll throw in the shipping. If you're not like a patron or something, but you'll get it for free that way. PG-14, it's $199 shipped to you in the United States. Now, this is probably going to be 30 to 40 bucks to ship, just so you know. If not more. Thank you, Brian. Uh, if not more. So understand that now I'm offering a ship price on this, regardless of where you live, as long as you're in the United States and not Canada or Hawaii. This is cool. It works. And... Trying to find these things anywhere. Like I said, it even says in the back here somewhere. It's supposed to be discarded or something, or the other one does I've got down there. Adagas Sire, PG-14, and it's a very cool piece. Like I said, Adagas, this takes a lot of batteries. Um, um, so it, But it does work, and just make sure there's a button in the back that turns that on and off. Um, the other one I've got does not have batteries. It's just an older version. But a lot of these came with power adapters. This one did not, because you can see there's a button on the back. You can probably convert it, though. Anyway, cool piece and uh, awesome deal there, man. Cool. Out of gas. Got him locked in there, and he's getting it shipped on shipped on us too. So that's even better. Uh, this is going to be not expensive. Uh, not uh, <laughs> it's going to be expensive to ship. But hey, just getting it out the door. I, this actually set my these two displays set in my storefront for a long time, and I just don't need them. I mean, they're not going to sit on my house or you know in storage. It's just doing me no good. So good pickup there. Up next, another cool piece. PG at number nine. Another uh, kind of cool item you don't see carded a whole lot, boxed a whole lot. At least I don't. I have it in a long time. PG-9 for $19. This one is the Comtech. There's a little bit of wear over here on the car, but it's still factory sealed. Of course, this is what you would use to use your Comtech chips on your Episode 1 figures to make the noises and all that stuff. PG-9 PG for $19. We'll be dust-free. <laughs> Thank you, Hunter. Yeah, I've got some cool stuff like that. It's something different. I always like the different stuff. PG-9 for $19. Comtech with Reader. And uh, there you have it for that piece. And there you go, Justin Davis. It's got a little bit of wear there, like I said, a little, little creasing. But hey, you know, pretty neat deal there. Let me write his name down on that. 
Can do that? Okay. Thank you, Justin. All right. Up next. Up next, what do we got? Let's do... All right. Another display piece. And this one's going to go out cheap, too. For what it is. Like I said, display is just always tough. This is a display for the Darth Vader plush doll. It's actually the Darth Vader battle buddy. So here's the actual battle buddy. He has his tag, which I guess came off at some point. But there he is. Boom. Battle buddy's in good shape. Ready to do some battle. And then it has a store display, right? Pretty cool piece. Store display, the, uh, the, the, it has a little bit of wear. This is also from the Trilogy collection, which pretty pretty popular line out of all of them. It's one of the most popular lines. And you can tell it's got the Trilogy logo stuff down there. Anyway, this is PG number 20, and it's $69. And you get the battle buddy with the tag. I don't, like I said, that's how it came to me. And then you get the actual display itself. Something kind of different, right? So PG-20 for $69. I mean, I don't know how I forgot how I got this. I've had this for like three or four years. Anyway, you got the good cape on the back and good helmet. And uh, hey, kids love it. Like, just like uh, Marty McFly said, the kids are going to love it. There you go. PG-20 for $69. Ooh, bam. Let's do this. Up next. Sorry about that. Just ding that. Um, oh. Another span expanding universe piece, PG number 11. PG 11. This is expanding universe. This is Princess Leia from Dark Empire Comics. Same condition as the Luke we just had a minute ago. Great, great shape. No major issues. Flat. All that. In typical shape for a Power of the Force 2 card. Nothing, nothing major wrong with it. And, you know, it has its just normal imperfections as you would find. Nothing crazy good or crazy wrong with it, I should say. PG 11, 14 bucks. Like I said, expanding universe stuff is always popular. Everybody's always going after it. And there's always so much of it, too, which is cool. Completing a run of this would be pretty neat because it's pretty easy. You don't have to go do the whole checklist of Power of the Force 2 stuff. This is PG number 11, excuse me, 11 for $14 for the uh, expanded universe. And I see, I see, hold on, Ruben Martinez is who I see first. Man, those came in quick. Man, the timestamps are almost, like, identical. That's crazy. I got Ruben Martinez for that one. Thank you, Ruben. And uh, there you have it. Sorry about that. What do we have next? Okay. Let's do this one. I'm going to offer somebody. That's out of gas. That's right. This one here is. This one is super duper ooper cool. Much like this other Lego display we just had. This is an older version, an older Lego display. And it's heavy, it's got a metal base. For the UCS collection. Uh, which is um, Ultimate Collector Series. And what number is that on, the, on your list over there for uh, the uh, LEGO UCS? I'm going to go to the very bottom. Uh, right there, five. Number five? Yeah, that's it. Number five. But I am going to make, I changed my mind on this one. I'm going to just get this out the door because I think it just needs to go. And this one's actually tough to get a hold of. And the cool thing about this is it's a cross-section of the, uh, of the uh, X-Wing Luke, right? So you have the, uh, the acrylic case, which shows a little bit of wear because it was in a store. Mind you, people did touch this. This was not just put on the back shelf and not used. And so you open this up like this, and, and the actual display itself is in very good condition, I would say. And that's the good thing about Lego is they go right back into place. So you don't have to worry about them. So there it is. So this will be shipped really, really cool because I'm going to take apart which parts I can take apart. That way they won't fall down and get all flimsy because these can be pulled right apart. It's just Legos, right? So it's not like it's glued, if you will, uh, except for this back piece, but that stays there. So there it is. This is the UCS series Lego X-Wing display, and it's a cross display too. So you only get half of it. So it gives you the illusion when you're looking in the mirror of seeing a full Lego display, which is super cool. The base is actually metal. This thing is heavy, and it's got some mounting points. And I'm going to do the same thing I did on the other one, man. This is a steel, another steel, probably even bigger so than the last one just because of what it is. The UCS stuff is always popular. PG-5 for $199. Uh, I think I looked, I just happened to glance one of these online. Somebody wanted like 500 bucks for them. They probably sell for close to that amount. I just don't care. I'm getting it out the door. PG-5 for $199. I see Wit Dog got that one. That is Michael Whitlow, I'm pretty sure. Um... And that is a good buy for him, and for anybody, for that matter. Um, uh, MW, you got it, man. That's a cool piece. Like I said, the acrylic does show a bit of wear, but the actual piece itself is good. I'll do my best to pack it up and keep these things from uh, 
uh, having problems. But like I said, it, they just slide right back into their holes. So I'll get them going. Thank you, sir. And we put this back on. It's a cool piece. Anything to do with Legos and displays. Because they're not supposed to be in our hands. They're supposed to be in the dumpster's hands, to be honest with you. There you go. Uh, up next, another exclusive piece. And I've had this one for a while. And this is just kind of like a, a weird, my, kind of just a weird situation. Because I've had this and I've offered it for the same price, thereabouts. And nobody's picked up, which is, which is fine. But they're still for like 250 300 bucks, which is crazy. So somebody just wants a piece... To a value piece, I guess. This will be for you. This is uh, exclusive from um, Star Wars Celebration Chicago. And this is the Geeky Tiki Rancor mug set. It comes with the Luke Skywalker mini muglet. I've had this in my possession. I've not drank out of it or anything like that. It's all good in there. I did check it. It's not broken, but I will put some more packing. I think there's a styrofoam in here. Let me just double check. Now, this is styrofoam, so this shouldn't really need more packing, right? But it will get, obviously, double boxed or what have you, or another box. So there you have it. PG-7. Like I said, these are like $250, 300 bucks. I'm not going to have 100 bucks off if you want it. If not, I'll just throw it and keep it because I may drink it one of these days on a hot day. Seven to, uh, PG-7 for $149 for that. <laughs> yeah, finally. I think, you know, some of this stuff just takes a while, man, to move, and you got to find the right timing and situations and things like that. PG-7 for $149, Geeky Tiki. Really cool piece, and I, I don't know how many of these they made, but not very many, because uh, these were exclusive to this. Uh, you had to actually be at the event to get these, which I was. And these, I think these weren't cheap anyway. I think they're, they're probably expensive back then. I can't remember. Anyway, cool. And they show you all the other ones in the back. If you're, you know, want a little Jimmy Buffett flavor to your Star Wars, there you go. PG7 for 149 Um, So up next, what do we have? What's up next? We have got another lot of Power of the Force 2 figures. Everybody sees you dig them, and I'll keep doing them. You get, uh, a, this is like a Stormtrooper lot, or Imperial lot. So you get Stormtrooper with blaster damage. You get that one. You get Stormtrooper, just Stormtrooper with heavy with heavy blaster. You get uh, Luke and Stormtrooper. So I guess technically it's not all Imperials. Uh, and you get, uh, yeah, they're just Stormtrooper as well. Basic one, and then... I don't know why I put this one in there. This is number out of the fifth one either. Death Star Droid, because he just lo I just thought he looked cool, and he kind of goes with the Imperials, I guess. He's not only a bad guy, I guess, but you know, a droid can be bad. Just programmed bad. Which says a lot about a lot of things lately. PG-17 for $24 for the lot of five um, Imperials. So there you have it. PG-17 for 24 Boom. Great COVID stay home piece, yeah. PG-7, $24 for uh, the lot of five here. Power of the Force 2. Uh, Shane Sample wanted that one. Cool piece. Cool stuff. Shane. Yes. Boom. Don't forget to contact us, folks. After the sale, we'll get you taken care of via PayPal, and then we'll get you taken care of the next couple days. We usually get things out the next day. Sometimes it's the day. sometimes it's two days, but usually it's in that two-day window. It really just depends on finding a, a proper box sizes, right? I mean, and that's really the big deal. I mean, it's like if I've got one, it goes out tomorrow really quick. If it doesn't, have to take me half a day to find one and ship it out. I mean, it's there's no magic to it. Uh, it's just finding one. Okay, up next we have got another <sighs> another poster. Now this poster is kind of cool. Um, just because I thought it was nowhere Star Wars related, just I'm a big 80s fan, so it kind of goes along with a lot of things. This is PG number one. This is from National Lampoon's Vacation. This is the original one sheet, and it's rolled. So if I roll it down a little further, and which is super cool because you see um, on the bottom there you get Chrissy Brinkley, you know, like and it's Clark and his. Uh, is 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 a short shorts right there. Clark looks pretty muscular there, actually, which is interesting. Interesting photo art for this because it really had nothing to do with the movie. I don't, I, he didn't play tennis, uh, but it was interesting. Anyway, original one sheet for uh, National Lampoon's Vacation. The first one. Oh, condition. Uh, right side here has a little bit of. Um, I don't know what you call that. Just just roughed up edge, like just kind of a. I can you see it? Just a little rough edge right there. Not horrible if it framed up. It would look look fine. Uh, you know. Nothing bad. Just a typical poster, but it is folded. PG-1 for 69 bucks for all you guys and gals out there that love this movie. I love this movie. One of my favorites. That one and the second one and the third one are pretty good. Started kind of going off the deep end after the fourth one. I mean, it wasn't too bad, but mm, whatever. 
PG-1 for 69 all-time classic movie. PG-1 for $69, something cool. This will also be shipped in a poster tube, just so you know. Uh, I don't like, you know, some people ship in different ways. I do my best to find poster tubes. Sometimes they're gone. I use. I have to make some triangle out of cardboard up, but I get it to you regardless. PG-1, $69, and this, this is an all-time classic movie, 100%. It is. It's, it's one of the best ones, in my opinion. Comedies, Chevy Chase, all that good stuff. And what else do we have over here? Oh, this is cool. This is a diecast cast die cast stuff, man. People just go not. It's like they just always buy this stuff. People just love die cast. It's not crazy expensive. It's just people like them, which is kind of a good thing, you know. PG eighteen for twelve dollars gets you the die cast metal uh, X wing micro machines. Remember micro machines? Those are super cool, right? PG eighteen for twelve bucks from Galoob. Galoob. It's got. The, I always thought that was funny. It had a little little bubble there, and you could uh, see the uh, really good detail on these two man the micro machines. PG eighteen for twelve dollars. Nothing crazy, but hey, you know, we gotta throw something out for everybody. You know, can't be all, you know, two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars items. I, you know, we could, we could do that one day, but I mean, it's you know, I get it. PG eighteen for twelve bucks. Micro machines, cool stuff. Okay, what's up next? Oh, okay, we have got. I am going to do. PG-18. Um, you know, I'm going to... I've got an idea here. Okay, let me, let me do... Let me, I'm, you know what? Because I, I just get to the point where I have a weird weird stuff. Okay, we've got a couple things here. I'm going to put these together. These are both Star Wars... Actually, these, these have nothing to do with each other. But I like to... Basically, the way this works is I'm going to sell these two things. They're flat. So I'm going to sell them together because they will ship together well. Um, you know, shipping for everybody is a pain in the butt when you're having to ship something flat versus having to put a different, you know, because you can't really find a box that works for both things. But these are going to go together. They're two things that are pretty cool. I want to make somebody a steal of a deal on this because it's just been sitting around for a long time. And this is going to be PG number, let's call this PG number 50. Let me write this down. PG 50. I'm going to make somebody a deal on this. PG 50. So you got two things here. You got one display. This is a my last if I had a bunch of these style displays. Uh, the Taco Bell display with Chewbacca on here. Play the Feel the Force game. It even has the uh, the stand on the back, which has never been used. It looks like it's brand new. I mean, maybe a little scuffing here, but I'm saying my point is it's in very good shape. It's not ratted out. The glue isn't dried up on this. Okay, next piece, totally unrelated to Star Wars, but I think it's cool because it's the same size. I just saw them like, they're the same size. This is an IMAX poster for Avengers Age of Ultron. Also in pretty decent shape as well. They're, but they're about the same size, right? So even maybe you like... And what's funny about uh, Marvel stuff, it's doing way better than Star Wars stuff at the movies. It's just uh, outside of Rogue One. And if, you know, it's just like everybody's kind of like, oof. But anyway, I, I understand. But these two go together. So you get the uh, you know Taco Bell display and you're going to get the uh, Avengers to go together because they're the same size. Very easy for me to ship. And that way, it's going to be cheap too. Let's do PG-50. I'm gonna blow this out of the water. Some of you don't want this just for the price. <laughs> You're like, I don't care about that stuff. It's just cheap. Twenty-nine dollars for the pair. Just get it out the door. PG twenty for uh, uh, fifty. You can see fifty on there. PG fifty. I don't know why I wrote that in ink. PG fifty for twenty-nine dollars. Alan G gets it. There you go. It's just one of those things where it's just cheap enough to just get get it. Just get it out of here. And Anthony, sorry about that. <laughs> Got you late there. Okay, up next, we're gonna do the same thing again here in a moment. Give me a moment, cause I'm gonna I'm gonna just throw some stuff together and get it make make it to make sense to ship and make it make really sense to price. Um, let's see the next piece. Let's do this. I can do that all day. I can I can mash up anything together. Star Wars and Baywatch. Kind of weird, but I could probably do it. Um, let's do this. Let's do this next piece. Let's do, since this kind of goes to get actually this does go together. This is going to actually make sense. <laughs> We're going to do the uh, uh, Vader display, right? The Vader uh, Battle Buddies display. You see the Vader? And it's, it's got the tag there. This is, going to, this is going to go with this display. The display is a little bit rough. It's not horrible, but it does. Had it at $69 for this piece. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do something. I'm going to do something real fast. This is going to be PG number 20. PG number 20. Same number. But I'm going to throw in the bank. Same price. Value, folks. And you get two Vaders. PG-60 or PG-29 for 20, PG-20 for $69. Same price for the pair. I just threw that in there, the bank. Because it could fit. And when it fits, it ships. If it, fit, if it fits, you must acquit. 
says some people. Anyway, there you go. PG-20 for $69. Mr. Santon, chiming in there, Horton. Good deal. Get some Vader stuff. <laughs> Thank you, because it will ship together. <laughs> <laughs> it fits in there. I was like, man, that's good. I love that. I can ship those together. <laughs> it's just when you're in the when you do when you're in the shipping business like I am, it's just it's a nightmare to have to like figure out oh, what's this poster going to go with. Just you ship two packages, obviously, and you don't want to you know have the customer pay a lot in shipping. So there you have it. Um, and just more or less a pain in the ass. Uh, let's move on. Oh, let's do this. Let's do this one. Let's just bundle this up too. Let's do this one. Yeah, PG number eight. PG eight. You're going to get. The, introduction, the uh, introductory adventure game for Star Wars is Factory Sealed, unopened. This is just some kind of game you play with your kids. I'm not going to go into detail. And this one, also, you're going to get Empire Strikes Back vinyl carrying case. Now, the only asterisk behind this deal is the button has a tear in it. So you can't close the snap here. But watch this. It doesn't matter. It has... You, the, the graphics are good here, on, are pretty decent on here, so nothing crazy on that, on the uh, case. So that's just some cool artwork, right? PG number eight for 19 bucks for both. Under $10 a piece for a couple of Star Wars items. Factory sealed here. You're basically just paying for this, to be honest. This is just, if you just, just throw that together with something. PG eight for 19. I see Justin Davis. Justin Davis. Up there. He got it locked in. What else do I got to bu Oh, I got some more stuff to double up. Let's do some more of this. This is fun. Let's just start putting Freddy Krueger with whoever, right? No, um, let's do this one. Let's do these two posters and see if anybody wants to, to do these two posters. Rogue One Advance. This is P PG for number four. Rogue One Advance poster. Double-sided poster now. Double-sided. Um, good shape. No major issues. I think I went over this earlier. Um, but it's black. It's the Advance, which basically says the Rebellion is born. This is December on the bottom. Double-sided. Have the uh, and this will work too actually because these posters are gonna go will go in the same uh, roll uh, cylinder, and this is the one with uh, the uh, ah, uh, National Lampoon's Vacation and a little bit of uh, wear like I said on the side still in decent shape no major I mean it's you know it's not a C10 if that's what you're looking for but it's definitely not a C7 it's like it's probably C7 C5 C I went to C5 C7 in that range C7 C8 good shape no majors no rips or anything like that okay this is PG at number four PG4 for the pair for the pair I had them at $69 a piece you know I won't put it to ship price on this one too even if, so if you want something for cool getting both posters Star Wars Rogue One and this one for 99 bucks these will go together helps me out it's gonna help you out Help you a lot on the price for both of these. PG4 for $99 ship price for the pair. That's my chat up there. There we go. For the pair of posters, we get, uh, what's his name? Uh, National Lampoons. And that's the original one sheet. And we have Star Wars uh, 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 Rogue One. Really nice, clean poster. Both of them are in good shape. But you're getting the pair for 99 bucks in a cylinder, like I said. And uh, protected for you on your way. I like posters because they usually get thrown out and they're hard to get a hold of. Up next, what do we got? Let's do PG number. All right, you know what? I'm getting crazy on this piece. Somebody wants this one for this price. It's a steal, and I mean an absolute steal. Um, here we go. This is ridiculous because this is, is, I already had this at $100 off, and this is probably like $150 off. This piece sells between $250 and $300. Bucks. I've never seen it below $200. So this is even rid ridiculously cheap. And I want to add in shipping with this too, just for the fact of why not. Get this stuff out the door. Never used it. Still brand new convention exclusive from Celebration Chicago. PG-17, PG-7 for $119. $119. Just do your meager research. That's a steal, if, just for this piece alone. So if you want it, great. If you don't, no big deal. But that's the last time I'm going to reduce this bad boy because, man, that's just, uh, this, this keeps getting more expensive. I just don't know why I'm trying to sell it, but might as well. PG-7 for $119. Need some room. Get it right there for the Geeky Tiki. That comes with the uh, muglet, which is like a shot glass of, of course, Luke Skywalker. And then you get, uh, what's his name? Uh, the Rancor right there, too. This is huge. Uh, Jeremy, yeah, man, you don't have one already. These are cool. These are awesome, awesome, awesome pieces. And uh, uh, these are huge. And on the back, you can see the collection. People actually have huge collections of this stuff, and it's awesome in their tiki bar. Anyway, 
All right, going back on the shelf. No problem, because I mean, I may just use it one of these days. See, Scott's got one too. These are cool, and these are selling for crazy. For I say crazy for big time money for, for what they are. You know what I mean? There you have it. Okay, we got that. We got that. We got that. We got that. What else we got over here? Um, want to do some more? Just something off the cuff here. Let's do something off the cuff. Just gonna make something up. What was that one? That was from some other day. PG fifteen. Okay, PG number fifteen. Alan G wants that one. Okay, we'll give that to Alan G. I don't know. I kind of, I kind of, I kind of said, kind of said no on that deal. I'm, I may have to uh, revoke your your claim there. I was going back on the shelf, but I will give it to you. I'm just kidding. A lot of people don't realize a lot of this stuff after the sale sells. <laughs> people come. You still have that? Yep. Boom. Gone. Okay. Moving along. Let's do something. A mass something else. Let's do uh, PG number. Let's call this PG-51, a weird mashup. And it's just because I've got, so I literally did not plan this. Um, I didn't plan the other ones either when I just started bundling them together. And I'm like, why not? So let's do this. Off the cuffness. All right, here we go. This is PG number 51. It's kind of a two for one deal. I mean, I'm eh, damn close. You're going to get this Shogun Warrior, or this Rogun Warrior, I should say. This, this uh, transforms into a gun from the 1980s. Pretty cool by Tyco back in the day. Or Arco, I should say, not Tyco. It's a knockoff, right? So there you have it. You're getting that piece. And this piece is all you're paying for. You're getting that for free. This is Freddy Krueger. This piece is like easily like over 100, like 125, 50 bucks just by itself. From Mezco Toy, Freddy Krueger. From my favorite uh, Nightmare movie, Elm, Elm Street uh, Dream Warriors 3. Nightmare, Nightmare Elm Street 3 Dream Warriors. Factory sealed. You're getting a steal on this, 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 uh, these two things right here by, by themselves alone. Factory seal right here. Still sealed on that side. Still sealed on that side. PG 51 for 99 bucks for the pair. This is just the gravy. Probably an extra 30, 40 bucks here minimum on this piece. Clean piece too. PG 51 for 99 dollars. Yeah, I like doing bundles too. You know why not? PG 51 for 99 dollars. Uh, won't hesitate anymore. <laughs> PG-51 for 99. Gino Bazzi. Whether he's a Freddy fan or not. And by the way, it's got the little marionette of, of Freddy in there too. Remember in the movie when uh, he uh, did the uh, like the clay sculpture? Yeah, and he, yeah, yeah, that part. Uh, I should write his name down. Gino. Okay, what else do I have over here that I can clear the hell out of here? I'm just going through stuff. Let's do this. More. More. Move it all along. Let's do this. Okay, Thundercats. I had this. I think I had tried to have this out for sale not too long ago. PG thirteen. Uh, uh, no, excuse me. PG fifty five. I'm adding one to the list there. PG fifty five. Let's just do this. This is gonna be ridiculously cheap for Thundercats. I'm not even a Thundercats man. So here it is. You get the uh, 3D puzzle in excellent shape. It has some slits here in the in the in the plastic, but other than that, the box is decent. So the actual piece inside, very very clean. I'm not gonna take it out and show you, but it has scarf in there with lino. Okay, and then you have the uh, case, which looks in very good condition. It has the buckle still here. Opens up nice and clean and white. So you're getting both pieces here today, both uh, and a little bit of wear there, just right here. But for the price. <laughs> no no brainer for any kind of vintage toys related stuff. PG fifty five for twenty nine dollars. Twenty nine bucks for the pair. Thundercats. That's it's probably what this cost by itself. What I'm trying to do is bundle this stuff up and give you one for free. That's what I'm trying to do. PG fifty five for twenty nine bucks. Cool piece. By the way, this is green back here, not black. <laughs> you can't see that. PG fifty five for twenty nine dollars. Gino wants that one too. Gino, so where is that? G G B. Put that G B. Cool piece. Uh, got you in there twice, actually. <laughs> Sorry, you put 51, but you got you got it the second time. All right, moving along. Thank you, Gino. Don't forget to contact us, folks, after the sale of your claims at, uh, at, at, at on Facebook. We'll get you taken care of via uh, PayPal. What else do we have? Let's do this. One more bundle, and this is it for tonight because... I'm I'm lo I'm gaining room, but I don't I can't really just go through stuff right now. This will be PG number sixty. This will be the last one of the night, and this is actually these are actually very collectible. This is uh, the Simpsons collection from Playmates. If you like the Simpsons, this is a cool little set. These are both unopened pieces. Uh, this one is the um, Quickie Mart environment. Remember from Quickie Mart? There you have it. You get both of these, and this is also this is from Moe's Tavern, <laughs> Duff Beer. 
<laughs> I love this stuff, man. It's just, you know, not for me, but I love it because it's just so cool. And I'm, Simpsons were a, a great time in, uh, in history. Both of these combined, and these are kind of actually pricey. 40, 50 bucks a piece on these. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to do this. Let's do PG-60 for the pair. For the pair, 64 bucks. That's well below what they would sell for individually, like probably $50 for one piece. So you're getting a kind of two-for-one deal there. PG-60 for $64 of Simpsons. The Simpsons. Anyway. Anyway, good, good show, fun show, and all of the graphics. 90s stuff is starting to come into play. Playmates did this back in the 90s. And let's see when this actually came out. These are... Uh, when did these come out, actually? I'm going to say 92, 93. Probably way off on that. 2002. Only 10 years. Anyway, there you have it. Last bundle of the night. Just saw that one. Figured I'd throw it out there. And that was the last one. Bundled up. Thank you guys for tuning in. Contact us right now with your claim. We're taking care of you. PayPal and ship you out. Give me an extra, a little extra time for these bigger boxes. But more than one day, usually I'm good to go. Thank you guys. You guys have a great day. And we'll see you next time right here at Facebook.com slash Plastic Alley Shop and YouTube.com slash blah, 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 Plastic Alley. Whatever it is. Anyway, you can find us. Adios. Later. <laughs>